Hi, welcome to the Tank Rides. Today I'm going to be looking at the Pirelli P0 Velo tyres. Uh, doing an unboxing and also giving you my thoughts. Because I've got some that I prepared earlier. I've actually been riding a pair of these 25Cs uh, for a few months now. This is a set of 23C tyres. And I've been... Well, it's probably not giving too much away to say that I've been really, really impressed by these. Uh, so I'm going to be putting these onto my old road bike to go riding in the Alps later on this month. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look inside the box. As you can see, despite the fact that Pirelli is an Italian brand, these tyres are actually made in France. Now, presumably that means that they've got an agreement with another company, another French tyre manufacturer. Couldn't possibly name who they might be. It's a lovely premium looking box, which is a good start. And inside you see you've got a folding tyre with a nice rubber sort of band thing holding them together and uh, this rather snazzy lightning bolt style uh, tyre tread which I rather like I have to say. And uh, the first thing you probably notice about them is that they are very light. I need to, I'm not going to go through numbers on this video, facts and figures. If you want to find out those, there's a very good website called uh, Rolling Resistance. Um, I'll provide a link if you haven't seen it already in the description below. This is really more about my impressions of how the tyres feel and what my experience is in terms of using them. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you certainly notice straight away that they're a nice light tyre. And um, it, it's, a, it's a premium product. Uh, they're about £35 each in the UK at the moment, which is not cheap. That's more expensive than, let's say, the Continental GP4000 S2s, which is comparable, I would say, uh, in terms of its rolling resistance and its weight. And that is actually what I've come off. I had a, I really like the Contis, but I had a couple of bad experiences with them last summer where they kept cutting on the sidewalls. Um, and I'd had to bin the tyre. I think I binned about three last summer. So that was getting expensive and a bit frustrating. So I wasn't really sure if they would, these would be any better. I had read that they got very, very slightly better um, protection in the sidewall here. It's hard to know if that's really true. I mean, these are, these are lightweight and presumably quite thin. Um, all I can say is that so far, touch wood, I haven't had any punctures or sidewall cuts uh, with my P0 Velos, uh, I've, with the 25C tyre set that I've got, and I've put about 2,000 kilometres into that pair. So, there's the tyre. Let's go and put it onto the bike itself, see how they go on. Right, so these are what I've got on my bike at the moment, uh, Rubino Pro Controls, which are excellent winter tyres, but uh, maybe just that little bit too heavy uh, for the Alps in the summer, so that's why I'm going to swap them over uh, they offer loads of grip, loads of puncture protection, um, but we're going to take these off, put the Pirellis on and hope that they perform in the way that they're supposed to. Okay, so we're just going to work the tyre on. And as you can hopefully see, it goes on really, really easily. It's very, very supple. Uh, I was quite surprised when I first put a set of these on, actually onto a set of carbon rims, just how nicely they go on. You don't need levers. You can just push it straight onto the rim. So we're just getting to the last little bit now, and there, it's it's straight on. Straight on, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Okay, so this is the set of P0s that I've got on my other bike, 25Cs. I've had these on for 2,000 kilometers now, so I feel quite able to offer my opinions on how they perform very very impressed with them they are very supple nice and grippy uh, they roll very well this tire was on the front wheel of my bike and i've just moved it over as you can see there's really not very much wear on it there's no cuts or holes nothing really to mention and touch wood as i say never had a puncture on them there's one slight cut there that you can see but that's really on I'm riding very, very rough, pothole-ridden roads in Kent, and I would say that's pretty good. So there you go. The Pirelli P0 Velos are an excellent set of tyres. They roll really well. They offer decent puncture protection, 
and reasonable cut resistance. They're also very grippy, they hold onto a corner nicely, and although I haven't ridden them much in the wet, they seem to perform well in damp conditions too. In fact, I would say that these have been enough to persuade me to abandon my normal Continental GP4000 S2s and switch to the Pirellis. I also think they look great. I really like the understated Pirelli and P0 logos on the side of the tyre. One thing they could offer is an option for the logo in the traditional Pirelli yellow and red. I think that could look really great on some bikes and it would be nice to see them offer that option. But uh, that's a minor quibble and I think these are fantastic tyres. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if so, please give me a like or a subscribe and thanks very much for watching.